in a bathrobe here on my way home from work and uh, I'm listening to the radio listening to a 97.3 Cairo radio and uh, listening to uh, Dory Munson my personal favorite I love that guy he's fantastic fucking brilliant and I got in the car and flipped on the radio just in time to hear about how they will be the the powers that be in Washington State will be raising taxes again this time it is specifically for the homeless okay so it's not enough that we pay 10% tax already. That's not enough. Okay? We need to be taxed even more. And, and we don't get to vote. There will not there will be no voting on this. Okay, this is what is going to happen. Period. No, no vote, no nothing. Um they but they've decided that the millions of dollars that they have to deal with the homeless crisis just isn't enough. They, the problem is that they need more money. Okay? They don't know how to manage the some five million dollars that they already have. Okay? They, they, that, they don't know how to manage that money. So they've decided that that they need more. They just need more. It's not that um, whoever's managing it needs to be replaced or perhaps educated on how to, I don't know, budget. No, no, no. The problem is that they just don't have enough money. So they're good. they need more, okay? They don't need $5 million. They need $8 million, right? I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. This is so fucking ridiculous that there's just no words to describe or explain the, this whole thing. It's, it, it blow it blows my mind. It blows my fucking mind. Okay. We've made it so easy to be homeless here in Washington you know, not, not only has our dumbass governor fucking ignorant fucking twat Inslee. Okay. So we have these safe injection sites, right? Because it's not enough for you to do your drugs open out on the street because they've legalized all this all, all these fucking controlled substances, you know, they're now legal. Um, it's not enough that you can do it on the street in broad daylight out in front of everybody. You know, that, that's not enough. We need to give these people heated and air conditioned facilities with furniture and snacks and medical professionals we need to we need to like make it really super comfortable for them to to do the heroin and to do the meth and that is somehow going to get them to stop doing the drugs i'm not really sure how that works um i'm a recovering alcoholic and i can tell you right now that if somebody said to me hey um you know what like, I, I understand you're an alcoholic and that your life is falling apart, uh, because that's what addiction does. It fucks up your life. Um, but Hey, you know, you don't have to stop drinking. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with a house. Okay. Don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. So other people will be paying for it. We're going to give you a house and we're going to fully furnish it. Oh, and we're going to like, um, help you drink. We're going to help you drink. So like if you have a bottle 
go ahead and 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 bring it and we'll give you you know what we'll, we'll give you the chaser or we're, we're gonna give you a glass to to pour your booze in right we we just let's make it easier for for me to be a fucking degenerate addict what the fuck so how is that gonna get me to stop drinking you've given me a place to live that's nice and comfortable and warm um you're taking care of me you're paying my bills you're giving me money you give me a phone i've got free medical you know, and, and now I get to go to this place, I can drink as much as I want, and if, if I make myself sick, there's going to be a fucking doctor there to take care of me, and put me on medications and whatever, so that, um, so that, uh, um, I, I won't get alcohol poisoning, or, or what, won't get hung over and be thrown up the next day. I mean, is this making sense to anybody? Like, you have a fucking heroin addict. So in an attempt to get them off the heroin, you've provided them with a place to do the heroin, be on the heroin comfortably and pass out without having to worry about anything, anybody fucking with you, you know. You can pass out. They'll give you a couch to pass out on. And then when you wake up, eventually, they'll have snacks and drinks and stuff for you because... Because I don't know, whatever. And and that is supposed to get the people off the heroin. You're making it really, really comfortable for them to be on the heroin. And that is somehow supposed to get them off the heroin. I don't think that's going to work. Jay Inslee, you're a punk ass bitch. And if I had your job, this state would not be in the condition that it's in. Period. You are a worthless, ignorant piece of shit. I have no idea how you're still in power. I have no idea how you're still walking around breathing, frankly. I would love nothing more than to put you out of Washington's misery. I mean, seriously, you are, you have, you have run this beautiful, beautiful state right into the ground. You have completely and utterly shit on this entire state. You're a piece of shit. And I hope you fucking die. God bless America. Don't vote Democrat. Thanks. <laughs>